A quick answer for how my copy of this album sounds is, overall, it sounds very good. The bass, mids and treble are all well balanced. I have no complaints as everything is clear sounding, there's no muddiness amongst all the plunderphonic madness here, thankfully. On sides A and B there is a slight bit of crackle, however if you're familiar with the album then you'll know that there's baked in crackle from the band's sampling process, and it's hard to tell whether it's the baked in crackle or if it comes from the imperfections of the discs. So the lack of obviousness around the issue is about as positive as one can hope for in my opinion. On side C and D, there's noticeably more crackle and clicks that become obvious that it's from the imperfections of the record, however. So w when the band were sampling for this album, they were sampling records at times and they were getting the crackle and clicks from those records that they were sampling and that's baked into the record. And it made me curious as to how the Puffin would grade the album because of that. It's hard to know exactly how the grading works on this little enigma of a box, and this is a great album to learn more about it, I thought. On tracks such as Two Hearts in 3-4 Time, where the baked in crackle is very loud, the grade remained A as it moved into less crackly parts. So, how it's able to tell the difference between crackle from the recordings versus the vinyl just gives me more questions, which will unfortunately not be answered today, as this is a vinyl review, not a puffin review. For side A, it reached the maximum score of A+, and it did get to a low of B, however that was during the in-between tracks, which is only to be expected really, and it spent the vast majority of the time at a solid A, which is excellent. On the flip side, on 2 side B, it actually spent the majority of the time at B, still sounding very good. As mentioned, sides C and D, they do have a little bit more crackle, and that is reflected in the score of the puffin as well with side C spending most of the time around B- and C+, which is still decent. And then side D spent the majority of the time around C+. Despite these scores, I think that you will probably not be disappointed whatsoever with the quality overall. You have to love how even the artwork samples another piece of art. It's sampling a painting called The Sinking of the USS President Lincoln on the 31st of May 1918, which was made by Fred Dana Marsh. For me, the artwork throughout this release is up there as one of my favourites. Every aspect is gorgeous. I love the text and font choices throughout too. Thank God this is a gatefold. It's simply stunning. The spine is also very good too. The colours are my favourite and the labels are so good. The only negative about this release is that it came with a standard paper inner sleeve, which was very quickly replaced with a anti-static inner sleeve of course. So yeah, this is a must have in your collection in my opinion. My feelings are in a video here if you would like to see that, and also you can see what my feelings are towards all of the Avalanche's music as well. And if you're in the market for this LP, then I think with this pressing, based off of my copy, I think you'll be satisfied. So good luck with that. Peace and love, peace and love. Bye 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 bye.